16th of the 7th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. Get a load of this. House blasts Yucca Mountain nuclear waste decision. Uh, you don't normally find appropriation bills to be very pithy reading, but the House Energy and, and Water Full Committee FY12 budget report released yesterday's rips the Obama administration in amazingly blunt and harsh language for its decision to shut down Yucca Mountain as the nation's plant nuclear waste re repository. The House committee includes funds and budget plans to continue the licensing project for the Nevada waste site. Put simply, the administration's anti-Yucca Mountain stance will ha has no scientific basis is wasting billions of taxpayer dollars and might be illegal. The committee rejects the administration's plan to shut down the Yucca Mountain license application process and includes funds in the recommendations to continue the process. Once the full merits of this site are understood and not before, the nation should determine whether to move forward with this full construction of this site. So they're going to do it anyway, even if they're trying to shut it down. So uh, here we go with the Yucca Mountain, and you can remember uh, Fort Calhoun is backwashed with a bunch of um, spent nuclear fuel because of this Yucca Mountain um, situation. So let's go over to Energy News. Uh, illegal immigrant working inside the largest U.S. nuclear facility is arrested. And of course that's the one in uh, Arizona that I put out a report for on earlier. More radioactive cows. New scandal appears to be much wider. 70 kilometers from the meltdown. And they have a video attached with that. Emergencies declared at a New Jersey nuclear plant after reactor coolant leak. Leakage outside containment. And I reported on that earlier. Unbelievable shock over revelations that radiation contamination occurred so far away from the Fukushima meltdown. I watched the explosions. That's still a big surprise for me. Um, monsoon rains threaten. Okay, that was yesterday. Over to um, I'm going to go to uh, the JAIF, and they're reporting TEPCO again stops key reactor cooling system. You know, this is that re recycle system they're setting up on the number one and two reactors. Um, to help recycle some of that contaminated water and it's not working up to par and they've had to shut it down again. Um, of course their cleanup deadline looms for the first stage which they're never going to get to. Uh, they're injecting nitrogen into uh, Fukushima reactor number three if you remember that's the one with the MOX fuel uh, to try to keep it from exploding. And they're already injecting into number one and two. Uh, they're saying Toshiba just miraculously develops a nuclear decontamination system. They're going to put to work along with the French system that doesn't really work and uh, see if two wrongs don't make a right, I guess. Fukushima plant suffers a leak in uh, the water filtering system, and again, they've had to shut it down because uh, they're definitely putting more water into it than they're getting out of it, and there's a leak somewhere. Fukushima hay test high for cesium. Um, they got a story, crisis minimum, cooling must precede evacuees return. So they're actually talking about these evacuees to be returning to areas close to Fukushima, but they're not going to do that until they get these reactors cooled down first. That's probably a good idea <laughs> if these people ever get back to them. Cesium found in hay at another farm in Fukushima. And, uh, Kyushu Power, 141 people involved in an email scam. Apparently they're uh, getting people to support falsely and, and affect um, like some legislature that was being transplaced. And uh, criminal charges, of course, ensued. And Kanase Power to shelve the MOX fuel plan in the Takahama power station, which is probably a good idea. And they can't say power to halt more than half of its reactors. Kyushu Electric delays restart of Sendai reactor. And uh, Japan is discussing a nuclear-free society. I think that's too little too late. 
over to Earth Changes, Scott.net. <clears throat> I got a 6.0 earthquake offshore of Chile. Uh, China snow covers Sichuan State Highway 318 in the summer. Uh, while people in all other regions of China are doing the hot summer, a bizarre scene of drifting snow covered uh, a mountain section on State Highway 318 on Wednesday. Uh, the snowfall measured more than 12 inches deep and the temperature was less than 32 degrees Fahrenheit. U.S. Oil Covered Bird Spark Oil Search, Santa Barbara, California. The U.S. Coast Guard is searching for a possible oil spill after five brown pelicans were found covered with oil on California beaches, officials said. We got a fear piece on the California earthquake swarm. Indonesia, a Lokan vo volcano erupts near Tomahong. Uh, so we got another volcano erupting in Indonesia. Another blast of heat in the United States, and I don't have to remind any Americans, uh, whew, it's a hot one again today for sure. A massive heat wave is expected to develop over much of central and eastern United States beginning on Friday with the heat index values that could reach 115 degrees. Now they're putting out local warm warnings way up here in Des Moines all the way out till Wednesday on this thing. So. Uh, we're definitely uh, in this big bubble of scorch, for sure. Colorado, more severe weather for front, for front range. And uh, the Denver airport was reporting hail, uh, damage. More severe weather hit Denver area in eastern Colorado Thursday, unleashing heavy rain on already soaked areas, adding to the debris and mud closed canyon roads west of Boulder. And these storms roll all the way through Montana, north and south Dakota, um, exactly where they don't need to be, Nebraska and Iowa, Minnesota. Severe weather hits the Netherlands. The Dutch, Nalo Weathers, the Dutch National Weather Center is warning of severe gusts of wind and heavy rainfall affecting large areas of the Netherlands today. The winds have already wrecked havoc across the country and caused delays at airports. Uh, U.S. drought engulfs 14 states. And uh, now to what are calling the Great Drought of 2011. Uh, they're saying worse than the Dust Bowl in the 30s. And uh, there's a lot of devastated farmers out there. In Extinction Protocol, we've got increased activity reported at Colima Volcano in Mexico. And it's one of the most active volcanoes in Mexico and North America, as it erupted more than 40 times since 1576. Despite its name, only a fraction of the volcano surface area is in the state of Colima. The majority of the surface lies over the border of neighboring state of another neighboring state. Da da da. Yeah, so we got another volcano in Mexico ready to go. Massive coronal hole turns eastward. Geomatic storms may ensue. Uh, some more solar weather heading our way. And a leak reported in Salem Nuclear Power Plant in New Jersey, of course. And another extreme heat wave. And we have yet another volcano in Iceland uh, gearing up. An eruption occurred at another volcano in Iceland. A glacial outburst resorted from a subglacial eruption that, uh, and again, I'm not going to slur this word, but this is basically uh, north of Katla under a great big glacier, and uh, they've had some uh, uh, some mild activity there, and uh, glacier melt and flooding and all that. And Typhoon Mahon jumps to Category 4 status overnight, and it is on its way to uh, Japan. So... <clears throat> All the radioactive water in the Pacific Ocean just off the coast of Japan is going to get swept up. And this hurricane is going to be historic. I wouldn't want to be caught out in the thing. That is about all I have for you tonight. Um, if I missed anything, wait a minute, we got the RSOE. Uh, they're reporting the volcano activity and um, three in the Iceland, Vanuatu, uh, Mount Lokan Volcano in Indonesia. 
wildfire in Croatia. I watched a video on this pretty extensive fire in the Adriatic Sea, Brac Island. And they're experiencing uh, extreme heat in Europe as well. Flash flood in Somalia. Uh, we got environmental spill in North Dakota, the hard scramble oil field. Landslides in Nepal. Heat wave in Romania. Of course, that's, that's across Europe going on. And tornadoes coming out of Calgary, Canada. So that is about everything for tonight, of course. If I missed anything, let me know. Uh, attach your videos below. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.